Frida and Marai obviously are there together. Uh, Rosa Covarrubias played a part in introducing them. And then her sister Cristina is the one who had the affair with Diego Rivera. Introductions, affairs, and a sympathetic protagonist. Sounds like a recipe for a modern day soap opera. This is a lot of the key players in this exhibition. An exhibition that presents an intimate look at Frida Kahlo, Mexico's most prolific and well-known female artist. Her story is told through the photographic lens of her longtime lover and friend, Nicholas Marai. Yes, what you can see in these portraits is uh, the development of Frida Kahlo as an artist and also how things were changing in her life over this period of 10 years. Prior to meeting Marai, Frida Kahlo traveled to San Francisco with her newly married husband, Diego Rivera. His intention was to paint a mural there. However, Rivera did more than just paint. Diego Rivera started an affair with one of his models, and that was something that he often did when he was working on an artwork. Understandably angry, Frida Kahlo returned to Mexico without Rivera. And so she meets Nicholas Marai and she has an affair with him. Um, it starts out as sort of a, a decision that she makes just at the moment. And out of that, over time, over the next 10 years, their relationship continues to grow and they become close friends and lovers. At this time, Kahlo's artwork is still in the shadow of Diego Rivera. As her relationship with Nicholas Marai develops, she becomes more well known as an artist in her own right. And you can also see that the relationship with Marai changes. You can see that sometimes she's looking directly at the camera, sometimes she won't make eye contact with him, so the tone changes over time as well. Here, Carlo and Diego openly show their feelings without any regard to the feelings of Nicholas Marai, the man taking the photo. Marai wanted to marry Frida Kahlo, but it took years for him to realize her heart would always belong to Rivera. He then meets another woman and marries for the fourth time. And that was very difficult for Frida. And in their correspondence, you can see that it hurts her very much that he is sort of leaving that relationship with her uh, and is deciding to marry this other woman. She did love him, but she also was madly in love with Diego Rivera and just couldn't leave Rivera. Um, even when they were divorced, she continued to love him. This picture is called The Two Fridas. So here you have her with a whole heart, and here you have her with a broken heart. Kahlo portrays herself twice. On the right, the one who lives sustained by Rivera's love. And on the left, the one who is no longer loved by Rivera. I think this is a wonderful exhibition for the Tucson community for a number of reasons. Um, first of all, since Tucson is a diverse community and we're located close to the border, this is the kind of exhibition that really bridges those um, aspects of our community and provides an opportunity for dialogue and mutual appreciation. Frida Kahlo was dealt many challenges in her life, including being injured by a train, which left her unable to have children. She said, um, I had two big accidents in my life. One was the train and the other was Diego. And like most television dramas, in the end, Diego Rivera was an accident she couldn't live without. And they remarried in 1940.